Why do you think most readers hate self-published books? What is it that keeps self-published books inferior to their traditionally published counterparts? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is an entirely different video. When I put up a question in time past on Facebook asking my friends why they think most readers hate self-published books and what is it that keep self-published books inferior to their traditionally published counterparts. You know, I belong to the Good Treat Society on Facebook. And when I put up this question on my own page, I also asked on the same page. And you need to see the kind of response I got from people. People were like, oh no, self-published books, I don't do that. I don't read that. Oh, it's a crap. It's terrible. It's horrible. And it's actually very funny how all of these, well, I call it hatred actually, is coming towards self-published books. You know, it's been, it's been over four months now I, that I've made a post, but I just revisited it and I was like, I should make a video about this. Asking why people it's self-published book. What is it exactly about self-published books that most readers don't like reading about it? Once another, oh, this is self-published. So I was able to gather people's response. And I have over 100 people engaging and giving out their opinion. But in this video, I'm just going to leave some few thoughts of some certain people who I consider their point to be quite evocative. When I make the survey, most of the things that I realize that people are pointing out to is always the edit. People always like talking about the edit. Self-published books are not well edited. It's a crap, it's this, it's that. Then another person touched on stigma particular. They were like, I think there's a stigma going on around self-published book. Someone was of the opinion that most self-published books nowadays do not pass through proper processing, proper editing, proper proofreading, and as such, because one book is already bad and it's self-published, another book is already bad and it's self-published, and another one is already bad and it's self-published, so it creates this perception that generally all self-published books are terrible. It creates this perception that generally all self-published books are trash. But that is not the case. As someone who has read over 200 self-published books, I find it very, very hard and quite uncomfortable whenever I hear people say, oh no, I can't read self-published books. Oh no, I can't do that. I don't like self-published books. I'm like, what is it exactly that people do not like reading self-published books? But then, after making all of my own survey, I could denote that most of the things people like talking about is number one, the editing. One mentioned the fact that self-published are badly edited. And again, that there is this stigma already in the market. And the stigma is actually created based on one person's experience reading self-published books, another person's experience with reading self-published books. And once the king keep occurring over and over again, it begins and turn into a norm. So that most people have the perception in their mind that every self-published are trash. But then it's a different thing entirely because nowadays I can verge because I've read over 200 self-published books. I can verge that what I've read, I too have experienced it over and over again. I've read some books that I've read. I said, oh, this editing is terrible. But then I've read some of the books that I consider this is so fantastic. I'm like, oh my God, I couldn't discover an ordinary error in the book. And I was like, this is amazing. But then there's this stigma again that someone mentioned that the fact that most self-published books do not pass through some maybe literary analysis, do not pass through publishers, you know, approver. And the fact that since it is self-published, the author is a publisher and the author is able to make it this, the way they want. And as such, since it's in the way of the author, then the quality is not guaranteed or stuff like that. But that is not always the case. I have read quite a lot of self-published books and I have found some of them to be extremely fantastic. I have found some of them to be extremely amazing. Then I will take you into some response that I got from this while I make the post. I will put up a screenshot to display on the screen as I read some of the response that I got. So I have one here from Start Gruz. It said that it is the same reason why some people hate undiscovered or indie music artists because a lot of them are absolute shit. No, seriously, look, I love KDP since it let me put my stuff out there and make a living. But the fact that KDP takes everyone means that there is, by its very nature, a lot of crappy, barely coherent entries out there 
that make me look for Google Translate instead of whatever these authors can't as grammar. There is enough crap out there that you have to work to filter out the noise and get the good stuff. And that's another thing. And that's another thing. Once you have things going on and on in a particular market, once you have this news about certain things, then it begin then it begin to turn to a general norm that people begin to carry around. Self-published books are terrible, self-published books are horrible, self-published books are not good. They are not necessarily all the same. Let me move you into another person's idea on this that's a comment from Kelvin M. Craft. Kelvin wrote that in the past it was thought that self-published books were inferior overall in quality but with the advent of digital technology a self-published book can at least look indistinguishable from traditionally published ones. This of course doesn't address the quality of the writing itself. Did you see that? This of course does not address the quality of the writing itself. So one of the reasons we actually thought of making this video is to ease the tension, is to ease the long-going perception and is to ease the norms of what is going on majorly about self-published books. Because according to what Calvin said here, a self-published book can at least look indistinguishable and of course I've seen some books you know for some times now I've been reading some well-known book and I want to say that the fact that a book is traditionally published also do not mix it to be overly too great because I've read some books I would love to mention names and I'm like really and I said this is a bestseller oh my god really and I said this is traditionally published so I think it's all has to do with people's opinion and people's perception of this but then I have read some books that you would never imagine that this is actually self-published with the tone of the quality it has, with the tone of the perfection, the writing style being great, the writing style being excellent. Let me move into another person's comment. There's a comment that came from Ala Olish. Ala Olish wrote that perhaps the lack of professional editing sometimes or just prejudice or just prejudice. Now, I can agree with the lack of professional editing, which of course I think that most people turn down on. You know, the fact that Amazon is available to publish anybody's works could also make anyone to just wake up all of a sudden, put in a work together and just open a KDP account and just post and say, yeah, and I have a book without following the right requirement, without following the original level and the things that have to be done. So I think it has to do with the author's perception, their own idea, because as an individual, I wouldn't love to have my book not to be very strong to the way that it would create a bad image of not only my writing, but of the indie world entirely. So I think this is a call for all authors. This is a call for every to be self-published author to please, to please make sure that the work is being checked, fact-checked, to be well-written, to be professionally edited, and to meet some literary marriage that I would love to say before putting it out there. Because if you have this thing going all around and all around, it could cause some problem to the indie market out there. I have read quite a lot of indie books and I can say that most of the things that people talked about are actually true, while some of them are not true. Asking on the Gotri Society, as a society of book lovers on Facebook, I was quite shocked to get to know that these people authentically are prejudiced, just like Ella O.C. mentioned here. There's this particular ranging prejudice. Oh, in the book, I'm not interested. If it's not from the big publishers, then I'm not reading. And that's what most people think. It's actually reality that some books that are traditionally published pass through a lot of edits. They can have over 10 editors, 11 people going over a book in a, in a sense that an error that someone could not cite, another person would cite it, or an error that the fifth person could not cite, the eighth person will at least see it and as such they were able to produce the best of works over maybe an indie author that only worked with one or two editors and stuff said oh yeah the book is perfect and produce it out so that's also another point that Ella made here perhaps lack of professional editing or maybe just prejudice and I want to say that I can relate to the prejudice going on especially when I got to have some response coming from the Gucci Society on Facebook I was like oh my god that is not fair enough. This is not supposed to be made. This is not supposed to be known of in the author. Now I also have another 
comment from Eric Bruce Smith, which says that it is assumed that most self-published books are not professionally great. The many self-published books that have become Amazon bestseller took care of business concerning editing and quality. In the authors must think of themselves as the publishing house. It is, I love this comment. Once in the author starts to dominate as Amazon bestseller, the readers and everyone else will be forced to give indie authors more recognition. The indie authors that is doing everything right must continue. Why the slackers must get in the game and make sure an aspect of the product is the best quality. How so much I love this comment. How so much I love this perception. How so much I love this idea. It really made for an interesting discussion. And that's very true. Then also have other people in the name of Anita Van Crane says that it is because there is no prior evaluation or judgment of merit based upon expert opinion. A self-published work relies on an unknown requiring no accreditation. Did you see that? Or oh, affirmed source of expertise. Did you see that? I love that again. It is because there is no prior evaluation or judgment of merit based upon expert opinion. A self-published work relies on an unknown requiring no accreditation or affirmed source of expertise. And I think this is also one of the reasons why some readers hate self-published books. One of the reason that keep self-published books inferior to its traditionally published counterpart. This is actually a call for a change of perception from both the self-published point of view and also from the reader's point of view. That even though there's dix, well I say prejudice, like someone mentioned, or stigma that is going wrong in the indie world, it is still imperative to mention that there are quite a lot of amazing indie books out there that are very amazing and i can testify because i've read quite a lot of them so this is actually a wake-up call i just thought why exactly readers intentionally eat self-published books and why most people prefer traditionally published books over the self-published counterpart and you can also see most of the things that indie books struggle with is the marketing getting it out there all like some traditionally books that could go or way forward to that well it is a wake-up call to the author's perception to try to make their work perfectly and fit before publishing and a wake up call to create a kind of a change of perception to the ideas, the long head intuition that most readers have had towards self-published book and also another wake up call to tell readers that not every book out there that are self-published is a crap. We've got quite a lot of amazing work out there. Well, I just felt to share this because I couldn't get it out of my mind and I just felt until I share it, that's when I'll be relieved. Let me know if you have another reason why you think most readers hate self-published books in the comment section. And if you have a reason as to why most self-published books are considered inferior to its traditionally published counterpart, you can let me know in the comment section. But then I want to mention this now in the author's category. The fact that a book is self-published or traditionally published do not make it to be much more better than another. There are some self-published books that has good message to convey. There has an amazing writing style over the tried one and there's some tried one as well that have much information to, to convey over the self. So it has to do with the, the topic of the theme of the writing, the author's writing style, the content, the quality of the content and the literary merit that the work possesses. And even to know that this is actually extended to the literary award world whereby you get to see some contests currently going on. Another the requirement you see self-published books are not allowed. I'm like oh my god that's not fair. A lot of changes I think needs to be done in the literary world concerning this perception, concerning this stigma and concerning the quality of work, concerning the things that the author needs to do themselves in order to change this grow in reputation, to change this grow in norms, to change this lies that is going on works in the books out there. It's a wake-up call to everyone, it's a wake-up call to all in the authors and it's also a wake-up call to the readers to have a change of perception of how they address books that are self-published. 
Yeah, let me know if you have anything you'd love to add or a point to make in the comment section. I look forward to have your opinion on this topic of discussion. And if you're new here and you've not subscribed to the channel, I want to urge you to please click on the subscribe button over there. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can get notified anytime I release new videos. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. Goodbye.